Pastafarianism is a very loose and uh, informal religion that uh, it's a new religious movement that's been gaining a lot of traction lately. We believe in the flying spaghetti monster, which is a deity made of spaghetti and meatballs. The, the flying spaghetti monster created the, the universe 5,000 years ago, populated it with, uh, with people and put all sorts of hidden things out there to fool us into thinking the, the earth is older than it is. We have a church, the British Columbia Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster, and we have spaghetti dinners and we have uh, pirate-themed meetings, and pirates played an important role in history. There's a discussion about the relationship between the number of pirates and global warming in the world. Everyone can be a pastafarian. You just have to be good and try to be uh, tolerant to one another and just enjoy life. Pastafarianism is a legally recognized religion in three different countries. A religion called the Church of the Spaghetti Monster. The Flying Spaghetti Monster. The Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. And yes, it is a legit religion. Created in 2005 as a response to some American schools teaching creationism. Right, well, the official story is that a fellow named Bobby Henderson noticed that the Kansas school board was aiming to introduce something called equal time into the biology curriculum. This was a response to creationists that wanted an equal amount of evolution and an equal amount of creationism, Christian creationism, I believe, into the curriculum. So Bobby Henderson, I think, formed a critique where he suggested that equal time really should include other gods as well. So if we're going to have equal time, let's consider one part spaghetti monsterism in, in addition to other forms of belief. The universe is quite mysterious and we don't have all of the answers, despite what many people say. And the response has often been to be too dogmatic about religion or to follow religions that are difficult to believe or take themselves too seriously. Or you can have a more metaphorical approach, and if you think uh, a god made of spaghetti and meatballs is silly, then, then let it be silly. It's okay to have a silly religion, as long as you're not hurting anybody, and I think that that's a real strength of Pastafarianism. Pastafarianism is practiced the world over, and other followers have worn colanders in their driver's license photos. It is a common tradition that followers of Pastafarianism should wear a colander or a strainer on their head, especially on their official photo IDs. This town councillor in Pomfret, New York, was sworn in wearing one on his head. Um, yeah, I'm uh, on the town council of the town of Pomfret. After I was elected, I realized that, you know, when you're taking official pictures, like license pictures or whatnot, that it's recommended, actually it's recommended that you wear a full pirate regalia, and if you can't, then you should wear a colander. Little did I know that it was going to be such a, a, a loud, <laughs> a loud incident. I was just making sure that my opinion and people that share my opinion had a voice. When Obi Canuel went to ICBC to renew his driver's license, he wore a pasta strainer on his head. I did apply to get my driver's license renewed with the colander on my head. That was in 2014, I believe. After a nine-month wait, he got a letter from ICBC denying him a photo license because he couldn't prove the strainer is a religious requirement. And that turned into a long, drawn-out fight that uh, was eventually unsuccessful. And it's true that I lost my license for maybe over a year, and that harmed me a lot. But I felt like this was my time to inform society that this was a real religion and this is a real expression. We don't like to see anybody get preferential treatment. If one religion is getting some kind of a dispensation or treated differently, then all should be treated that way. There, there should, people are equal, they should all be equal and treated equally. The spaghetti monster has been a symbol for people who feel that religion has been too close to the government. But many of our uh, Pastafarians do strongly believe in the separation of church and state. Religion is such a mysterious and nebulous thing and we can't even nail down these concepts. So let's keep this mysterious stuff a little bit separate from the way that our government does things. Yeah.
Pastafarianism, uh, and I'm not under any illusion about this, most people assume that we're being silly, which is true, or that we're merely out to make fun of people or to be hostile or caustic towards mainline religion. What we can do is we can be inspired by other religions and we can use those concepts, kind of universal spiritual concepts, and channel those into uh, less dogmatic and more fun expressions if that's what they're into. I would challenge anybody that, that, uh, that becomes offended by Pastafarians to simply live and let live and uh, understand that the world is a strange place and there are very many strange beliefs and throughout your life you're going to run into a lot of this kind of thing and if you get offended every time someone's doing something different you are not going to enjoy your life. Religion is notoriously difficult to define. It's not clear, for example, is, is uh, Buddhism a religion? I mean, it's that we don't quite have a deity in that case, but most people do accept that this is a religion, or Taoism, or, uh, you know, the, the gamut of religion is so diverse. It is so diverse that Pastafarianism certainly has a place in that spectrum somewhere. A decade ago, if, if you said people were going to be having Pastafarian weddings and there's going to be regular worship services, people would have said, no, <laughs> you know, that's never going to happen. And now we've got people running nonprofit charitable organizations uh, doing, doing good work. I hope that one day, I hope one day, um, and I may be too idealistic in saying this, that there will be a time when society is no longer surprised to see someone has a strange and unusual religion and they're expressing it and they're happy.